Suburbanites John and Christine are like many couples. They want to move into the city and are looking for their dream home. Granite counters, the latest appliances, a glamorous look, but their dream is out of their budget. Enter the Property Brothers, Calgarians Drew and Jonathan Scott. Christine and John are on the hunt for their dream home. That I want a perfect home for us. But their dreams just don't match their budget. Property Brothers Drew and Jonathan can get them exactly what they want. We would blow this all open. We'd put a couple of beams in. If they can look past the ugly. It outright stinks. A lot of problems in here, I see. To unlock the dream within for the ultimate happy ending. The brothers are the stars of the hit new show on the W Network, Property Brothers, and Drew and Jonathan are our guests today. Thanks for being here, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Welcome back to Calgary. I know you've relocated to uh, Las Vegas, Sin City. Yeah, just settle uh, on that one. Yeah, the shock factor. The shock factor. Yeah, you're so normal for living in Vegas. I love the concept of this show. People have something they really, really want, a location, a dream location, a dream look to their home. Frankly, unaffordable as a done deal, something ready to move into. And that's where you guys come in. We're talking really about uh, a risky purchase so to speak, and then an extreme makeover. Give us an idea of how it unfolds. Well, for us, I mean, the other way around seems a risky purchase. When people are trying to get all their wishlist items in a prepackaged house ready to go, they can't afford it. And then it, it's really stretching them to the limits if they can afford it month by month. Getting into something like this with a professional like Jonathan as a contractor, mm -hmm. myself negotiating the deal down to what we can get the property for, an ultimate fixer-upper seems like an easier deal to us. And this is what got people into the economic crisis we're into right now. A lot of people overfinance put themselves right to the brink, and then, of course, when prices dropped, they're losing their homes. We but want you to have, keep that. But you have a couple like, uh, I think it was John and Christine, yeah. hesitant because they, they know what they want, and this house looks nothing like what they envision, right? And that's what most people going into a home, they can't see past the ugly. They need somebody who has the vision. We've been doing this for so long. I mean, it's 15 years we've been investing, and as soon as I walk into a home, I can see what walls open up. Jonathan's there to, to give really good design ideas and, and just how to turn it into the dream home. And in the end, if you get a fixer upper like this and then you tailor it to what you want, you actually have your ultimate dream home. It's exactly We do have a couple want. aces up our sleeve too because like. we use this 3D software that nobody else has. You can't find it in a residential application and uh, Niso Renders, the company we work with, basically we take the top two contend contenders that Drew narrows down for them mm -hmm. and I do a design for both properties and we do this 3D walkthrough and they go into the meeting not wanting either home because they think they're both ugly right. and they come out of the meeting not being able to choose which one they want. So you've literally given them a vision of what the two final choices for homes yeah. will look like when you're done with them. Yes. Yeah. And then what's the reaction uh, when you do the big reveal and, and how close do you come to the dream? Can we swear on? No. <laughs> Is that what they say? Very, Is there some bleeping? Oh yeah. It's very emotional. I mean, you can, you can see at the beginning when we saw the 3D rendering as well, it it's, it's, looks so realistic. It Sometimes sure the homeowners think that that is the house renovated and in the end, it's exactly the same. Yeah, we're looking at the finished product on uh, John and Christine's home. There was the before yeah. and then you look at that beautiful yeah, that that's that's, that's the, the 3d that's image. The three image and that's, that's the real after. image you look can hardly realistic. tell the difference the 3d guys. graphics actually have they have textures they have all the colors anything that i want to put in for creating that vision i can do and it, it's and all know, these houses are in canada right yeah we actually filmed in ontario for all of season one and as we go through season two and and so on hopefully we would expand across canada and into the states well then you have to come to Calgary. I, You're Calgarians. Yeah. Mom and Dad still live here. in High River, right? They do, yeah. and we love coming back to visit. It, this is nice that we're on our Canadian press tour right now, and we're finishing up here, and then we get to go spend three days with them, which is nice. Very mm -hmm. nice. Well, we hope you'll bring the show to Calgary. I know there are a ton of Calgarians who would love uh, to get their hands on your expertise and, and be part of the show. And the reaction's been great to the show, huh? This is it where we started, been. so we want to bring it back here at some point. And, I mean, uh, 10, 10, 15 years ago is where we started here in Calgary. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they made their way in Calgary and uh, paved the way for uh, all the success you're having today. Guys, it's terrific to have you back in town. Have fun in Sin City, but come back and visit Mom and Dad often and visit us anytime. We will. All right, thanks, thanks so much, <laughs> thanks you guys. Uh, the Property Brothers airs on the W Network.